Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Pharmacypedia. In this video, we are going to discuss about rheology modifiers which are one of the building blocks of cosmetics. Rheology modifiers. The term rheology has been derived from the Greek word rheo which means to flow and logos means science. So it is the science of flow or you can say it is the it is defined as a science which is concerned with the deformation of the matter under the influence of the stress which may be applied perpendicular to the surface of the body. So rheological modifiers are the substances which are concerned with the flow, which are concerned with the viscosity of the substance, which acts and play a very wide role in different types of the cosmetics. So the rheological modifier category comprises of all the raw materials that significantly participates in the rheology. Rheology means the flow properties of various monophasic system or biphasic system. Monophasic system like solutions or a biphasic systems like suspensions or emulsions and also includes ingredients called gelatinizers. Now rheological modifiers are concerned with the viscosity of the substance. So viscosity enhancement can be done by the addition of the rheological additives. Now these additives basically create a high thixotropic flow behavior. So they enhances the viscosity, they enhances the thixotropy. Therefore they play a very critical role in various formulations of cosmetics. And moreover they are generally categorized as thickeners. All the rheology modifiers are basically uh, comprised of a category known as the thickeners. Thickening is, a, which is, thickening is an important function of as consumer equates viscosity or thickness with the quality of the product. So it's sometimes the thickness is very much desired in the formulation. These thickness can be uh, incorporated by the addition of these rheology modifiers which alternates the flow properties of the substance. So again the thickening agents are the substances which can increase the viscosity of a liquid without changing its properties. So the, it doesn't change the property of the substance. The, uh, the main property remains the same but once you add the thickening agent it enhances the viscosity and looking formulation more easy to handle more appropriate from the consumer point of view. So the thickeners may also improve the suspension of the other ingredients or emulsions which increases the stability of the product. So when we talk about the biphasic system like emulsions or suspensions we find that they have the improved stability once thickening agents are added into that. Moreover, they are widely used in cosmetics or personal hygiene products including viscous products. The majority of the thickeners have the ability to retain the water on the skin and therefore act as a moisturizers. So you can understand since they are able to hydrate the skin, they are, they are able to make the formulation remain stable for a prolonged period of the time. They actually enhances the shelf life of the product. So they found the wide applicability as they use as a moisturizers. There are a wide number of substances like polyethylene glycol, synthetic polymers such as carbomers and vegetable gums which are having uh, natural origins are found as thickening agents. So when we consider the classification it can be again on the basis of organic products uh, then they are further subdivided into two categories natural and synthetic. Now when we talk about the natural we are aware about the large number of polysaccharides like xanthan gum, gum arabic, gum tragacanth, carrageenan all these uh, are found to have wide applicability in the formulation of herbal cosmetics. Moreover na cellulosic products also like HEC. HMC, HPMC, hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose, sodium carboxymethyl cellulose, all the cellulose derivatives are also found to play as the role of thickening agents in wide number of the herbal formulations and other formulations. Apart from the natural category, the synthetic, they, can, they are largely synthesized in the lab. For example, like polyamides, calcium sulfonate derivatives, modified urea, and other fibrous substances. So you can understand they, that there are large number of thickening agents available which can be utilized in the formulation and making the formulation stable when while considering the cosmetics. So uh, now let us try to understand the classification. Now again the classification on, can be on the basis of applications or like properties such as hydrophilic, lipophilic and surfactants. In my previous video I have discussed in detail about the surfactants and also about hydrophilic means water loving, lipophilic means lipid uh, loving. 
so when we talk about the solvent bond and water bond uh, these uh, thickening agents can be like cellulosic derivatives acrylates acrylates have have water bond features associative thickening agents clays now solvent bond uh, may be categorized into organoclays hydrogenated castor oils polyamides over based sulfonates so these are the examples of the various substance having these water bond properties and solvent bond properties now uh, let us try to understand the uh, role of these thickening agents in the various cosmetic ingredients they have wide number of role as aesthetic modifiers they have wide roles in conditioners drug addicts actives film formers colors they uh, not only have uh, wide applicability in cosmetics but they are also widely used in the paints industry ink industry F since they impart large since they are incorporated in number of coloring agents like hair colors skin colors hair polymers skin polymers as far as cosmetics is concerned they found their applicability in as a use in the formulation of sunscreens antiperspirants antibacterials anti dandruff agents anti cavities skin lightening creams anti acne treatments and apart from that like conditioning activities and like building block activities like in silicones cationic occlusive humectants and emollients uh, i have discussed in detail about that in, in my previous video in emollients you can refer that in detail and apart from that they are also acting as an aesthetic modifiers and like uh, they actually uh, ha have to achieve the optimized formulation in case of uh, various preservatives fragrances adjusters fillers plasticizers appearance modifiers and delivery so you can understand that they have a wide role to play in each and every development of the formulation of cosmet not only cosmetic products but also they find their utility in paints industry in industry and even in the biotechnology based industries so you can see and understand the applications lies to larger extent when we talk specifically about the cosmetics in bath and shower gels sunscreen products hair care products cream and lotions toothpaste lipsticks liquid makeup facial mask pressed powders shampoos antiperspirants nail lacquers and wax based product so they uh, these thickening agents these agents have a wide range of plays in not only in the cosmetic industry but also in the paint industry thank you so much for watching my video please do subscribe pharmacy pdf for further updates also please provide your comments in the comment box thank you so much